Hey, I'm Pastor Fred. Welcome to the follow through. All this week, we're looking at being rebellious. And uh, one of the things that can kind of inspire rebellion in, in a lot of us is dealing with the government, dealing with politics, oh, and all of that. Because, you know, there, there might be people in power you don't like. Uh, and, uh, and and you got to deal with that. There might be laws that you don't agree with, the way that money is being spent, and you don't agree with it, and you're upset and you're angry, right? And that 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 I just covered about half of America, uh, right there in one shot. And what do we do with that? Now the easy answer would be just rebel, forget about it, don't listen to them. Um, but you know, Scripture doesn't really go there. Scripture says for us to obey those in authority, uh, to show respect for them. But there is a limit, okay? There is a line that, uh, that we dare not cross, really, um, when we are faithful followers of Christ. Now, I want to be really super, super, super careful about this and, and, and abundantly clear about this, um, that the line you can see pretty clearly in Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Now, these were the apostles, and, and Peter was there, uh, and, and they had been arrested, and they were brought before the council, before the high priest. They were being questioned, and, and they were saying, look, we told you, we strictly told you not to preach about Jesus. And here you have, you filled, he says, you filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you, and you want to bring the blood of Jesus upon us. So stop preaching about Christ. Now that's the line. That's the line right there. When, when, when our government says, hey, you can't talk about Jesus, you can't proclaim his love, his forgiveness, his, his, his incredible unconditional love that he's given to you. And we, when, the, when the world says, hey, we can't, we can't allow you to do that anymore, then, then, then we, can't, we can't go with that. You know what I mean? We, we have to say no. We have to say no. I, I'm going to listen to God. Because here's what Peter says. He says, we must obey God rather than men. We must obey God rather than men. So, so obeying God will mean to respect those who are in authority. But, but, if they, but if they want me to disrespect God or if they want me to go against Him, then i got to obey God. I'm going to obey God in that because He wants me to worship Him and Him alone. He says that, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the one that gives me life and gives me hope. He's the one who, who holds the keys to all things for me and for my family and for the world around me. And so if, if anyone in, uh, in any like position of power says, you can't talk about that, you can't share that with somebody, you can't tell that to somebody, right? You can't be about that in your life. In fact, if, if they were to say, look, you have to renounce all of that, then that's when we have to go, look, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. I, I, I just can't do that. Respectfully, I can't do that. I'll respect you in terms of speeding on the road. Uh, I'll respect you on all those things. And if I cross the line on those, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal with, I'm going to pay my ticket, my traffic ticket or whatever it is. But when it comes to preaching about Jesus and, and talking about him, Man, that only, benef that only benefits everybody. That, that everyone would know that He's the, the God of the universe. That everyone would know that He suffered and died. If, if everyone would know that kind of love and that kind of sacrifice actually exists and, and is freely given to us. Think, think of the lives that would be changed. So, so no, 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 no. We, we, we don't listen to that uh, voice that says to stop that. No, we obey God rather than men. I hope this encourages you today uh, in whatever you're going through. Uh, just again, we're in this together, folks, and, uh, and let's love each other, let's help each other, let's uh, again uh, remind each other of this great love that God has for us. Hit that subscribe button and uh, please share this with somebody in your life and we'll talk to you next time.